Hi everyone. Here we are. I'm just going to check to see that I'm on Facebook. Looks like I am. Here, just give me a second. I'm just going to close some tabs and whatever else is going on. Let me just check on YouTube. Okay. Let me just come back here. See, so you see my header page. And and hello hi everybody how are you today and welcome uh, to my live stream today hey Zach that's my best buddy how are you doing okay good I'm gonna, just gonna check my um my YouTube or my Facebook stream and my YouTube stream. I'm doing this live on both platforms. I'm gonna check here too. Um, on my um, I guess on my phone here. Let's see, cause I am live. Yes, I am. All right. I'm gonna turn on the volume on everything. I'm gonna say, "What's up?" Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching me. Okay, we're looking good. Um, hi, so today we are going to be, I'm going to be playing with the Wildcats uh, bundle from Stampin' Up! And as well as uh, the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. So before I even go by with that, let me just introduce myself for my new viewers. My name is Sheila, Sheila Ho of Sheila Ho Design. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. Um, and I really love paper crafting and I've been doing this for a while. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just super excited to show you the bundle and to show you um, the, the Stampin' Mini Cut and Emboss Machine. So both items um, are 20% off while supplies last for the month of March. That being said, uh, there are m many other bundles that are available through uh, that are available at 20% off uh, this month as well. I, I would like you to just check out my website, uh, my sh online shop, sheilaho.stampinup.net um, net to see all the new, um, not necessarily new, but all the bundles that are available to you um, as as uh, as uh, as part of this promotion. Okay, so let's just get started. Let's just jump into it and uh, we'll go from there. All right. All right, so today you can see, um, I have the catalog open to the uh, um, to the Wildcats bundle and a stamp set and coordinating DSP, designer series paper. Um, for us, this is what we're working with today. It'll be the stamp set and the coordinating bundle, or coordinating dies, pardon me. Okay. Let me just get there and give me a minute and I'm just going to walk on over. Let me just say hello to my friends in the chat. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm just going to walk on over. Let's take a look. Okay. So what you're seeing here is the Wildcat Bundle. It comes with um, 15 photopolymer stamps and uh, the coordinating die set. It uh, retails right now for $52, but it is 20% off this month. So in the flash, let me just move some stuff around here. Pardon me, my microphone's all over the place. Okay, so in the flash, it looks like this. And we've got the stamp set and we've got the coordinating dies. So the dies look like this. I put them on a magnet sheet. Uh, you can too. Did, oh, yeah, they're all here. So we've got um, different shapes for the cats, uh, leaves and different vines as well. So we're going to be making a bunch of, or we're going to be making a card today using this. And the photopolymer sets, you can see it's quite well loved. I use this a lot. I've made quite a few cards with this. Um, and it's really great. You get a choice, I guess, of a leopard or a tiger, and we'll see what we'll do today. All right, 
So let me just show you some of the cards that you can make with this set. It is quite versatile. Um, I don't think you should limit yourself to, you know, maybe the just a regular tiger scene. Um, the first thing I did with it was when I purchased this with my starter kit was that I made um, a series of New Year's uh, red envelope for a Lunar New Year. Uh, so this year is the year of the tiger, so it came in quite handy. I stamped, um, I stamped the, the tiger out and I cut it using the dies. And I also used the Word Wishes dies to uh, cut out the Happy New Year sentiment. On this particular envelope that I made, this one is being is made in um, real red cardstock, I embossed some vines uh, using gold embossing powder. And this one's just a regular one. And then on the back, of course, you know, you can, you can slip in your, your, your gift. Other things I did, other cards I did with the um, Wildcat set was this. I showed these two cards. This first one is a simple card. I mean, still effective, quite uh, nice. And it has just um, a strip border and just one layer stamping, which I love to do because it's quick and it's easy and it's also super effective. And then I just stepped it up doing with this, adding some circle, um, layering circle dies as a background, adding some extra leaves, um, some rhinestones, and um, you know, coloring the sentiment in a different color, this time in pumpkin pie, and uh, just doing the vines. All right, friends, okay, so oh, one more card. This is the one that I think I featured last week. This one has, uh, same thing, a layering uh, circle die as a window. Uh, I featured some leaves in there, and I popped up the leaves just behind the, the window cut out there and um, to give it some dimension. I also used a leopard this time instead of a tiger and I heat embossed in white the sentiment, added a bit of ribbon for a little bit of texture and, and some contrast. All right, cool. So for today's card, we're gonna be making something like this. Um, it won't be this color, let's just see what we've got going on here, but we're gonna be making a tiger because I love the tiger and uh, in this kind of a style. Okay, so today these are the colors we, or I, have decided on. Okie dokie. So we have a rich raspberry, rich razzleberry, that's a tongue twister, rich razzleberry cardstock base. We've got, um, well that'll be for the inside there, I'll, sh I'll talk about that after. Um, and we've got some Calypso Coral, and uh, Highland Heather, um, a background for the uh, the animal. It'll be, hmm, it'll be a flirty flamingo. We've got a base there. We've got some green leaves and sentiment. Okay, we're set. So let's just begin with this. I'm gonna put all the little bits and stuff to the side, okay? And get it out of our way. And let's begin with the stamp set. Okay, next thing we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp our animal, our cat. Um, I don't know, I think today I tend to use the um, pumpkin pie and maybe, maybe I shall again. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. So on this card I used um, Calypso Coral for the tiger. Um, this time I want my tiger to be more orangey. So we'll use some pumpkin pie for our tiger here. All right, I like the, I like, I love these stamp pads, they're super juicy. It's important to have a juiced up stamp pad so you get the image that you want. Nice crisp one. I'm just gonna lay it down here on this uh, piece of cardstock. Press well. Um, simply because it's a full image and you don't wanna get any spots because if that happens, well, you can always use the back of the paper. And there you go, isn't that a beautiful, beautiful color? Okay, let me just put that um, tiger to the side here. All right, next thing is we will need um, some stripes and a face. So a couple of things here. So you can see I've used my stamps quite a lot. They are well loved. Um, 
the the discoloration quote unquote the discoloration of it being red or whatnot is just from the dye of your inks but once if you've cleaned them well and i do they my my stamp set is the um discoloration does not affect the image and uh, the quality of the of the stamp so these are normal things they're very common with photopolymer stamps um, i wouldn't freak out um, it just shows that you use your stamps and stamps should be used you should craft with them Alrighty, righty 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 okay well, let's just see okay so next things next i'm just going to use early espresso for the tiger stripes again get it nice and juicy this stamp pad is juicy and i love it um if you're having problems with juiciness on your juiciness meaning like ink on your stamp uh, pads i would recommend you get some re-inkers makes a world of difference when you have a juiced up stamp pad. So this case, because our tiger is sitting down, we are gonna stamp him, this, um, we're gonna stamp the stripes this way. So the beautiful thing about photopolymer stamps is that you can see right through the image and you can align it. Pardon me if you see my head in the shot um, as I try to get around my camera. Oops, there you go, you can see my hair. Sorry, okay. I'm just gonna lay it down like that very carefully okay and same thing oh lovely so maybe I could have aligned it a little bit higher uh, for our tiger stripes but no bother no it doesn't bother me too much I do like it this way okay and then we're gonna do the face so if you can see the face here of tiger and again again you might see my ha head my hair in the shot I'm just gonna bring it down so you see less of my hair and more of face and I stand up when I stamp because I like to look directly overhead um, of my image particularly when I'm doing things like this there you go that is so cute A very regal looking tiger all right, so got that going down. Next thing, I'm just put the stamps to the side. Okay, next thing's next. We gotta cut this guy out. So I talked about the Stampin' Mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. Oh my gosh, what a mouthful. Okay, I got this and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna start from the, uh, I'm so excited, I'm already <laughs> rushing ahead of myself. Okay, so this, teeny machine um, is so great like you can see it just kind of fits in my hands it's light and it's not clunky and um, this is great if you're crafting on the go see, as the world is opening up again we can go do crops and um, other events right we can we we can do um, car baking events scrapbooking cro uh, cra um, other crops whatever right or even if you're on vacation and you want to craft you can bring this with you so what's beautiful about it is that the base unfolds and tucks right back in to be compact super cute okay i'm gonna open it up again clunk clunk but very light so this is the machine it comes with if you buy it it comes with the plates that you need to start die cutting right away and having one of these machines is a game changer for your um your crafting possibilities okay so i'll just show you some of the plates mine are well loved well loved crafting plates means uh you know you sign of a good crafter so we have plates one, this is your base plate. You've got plates two of number two. This is what we use when we um, will cut our image out. Uh, we've got four, three and four. Um, these are used for embossing folders. I don't have an embossing folder, so I can't, we won't be using these two today, but we will be using plates one and two. All right. So let me just demo how to do that. I know that there's a bit of a glare from my light. Um, 
But hopefully you can see how this goes. All right, so what we're gonna do, so I'm just gonna lay down the plates for a second here and move them out of the way while I get the tiger. So that's our tiger. We are going to use the um, die here. This is the one that we're gonna use. So there's a grooved edge, uh, that's the cutting edge, and then the flat surface of the metal dies. So we put the grooved edge um, and align it with our tiger. All right. I'm just gonna lay it oops, onto the tiger like so. Okay. And then, oops, it slides. So what else I like to do is I like to put a little bit of scotch tape kind of hold my dies in place. Um, don't put the scotch tape or your invisible tape rather on the image that you're trying to cut out. I just carefully adhere it to the outside, just right a little bit on top of the die and to the outside part of your um, of your stamped image there, the part that's not going to be included in your picture, okay, or in your card. Sweet. Here we go. Okay, so I'll align it in that way. And then I'm gonna put it, the cutting plate on top of number one. So you need two plates, you need plate number one, and then you'll put your, and it shows you here too, and you'll put your plastic um, first number two here. And then you will put your image the die cutting surface or the cut, die cutter cut cutting edge down. So that's the grooved per, that's the grooved part of your um, of your die set. And then you're gonna lay down the other number to um, plate. So the best way to get it in is to stagger it. If you can see here, I have this little tape as a visual. So stagger them in that way so that your sandwich, as this is called, will go in quite nicely. So you'll shove it in. And then you'll start cranking. Crank the little handle here, I'm gonna move it around. You will hear a cracking sound sometimes, like that. Do not be alarmed, that's normal. And your die cut image comes out on the other side. So I'm just gonna take it all off. Take off plate number two. Plate number two is like that. And voila, you've got your tiger. Super duper cute, okay. So we're gonna do some other stamping, some other die cutting. I'm just gonna go through them quickly with you um, as we get through this card and make it. I'm really stoked, like you wouldn't believe. Okay, um, let's cut, let's stamp some of these green um, leaves. Stamp a couple anyway. Okay, oh, I might need that. So I'm just gonna clean that off for a sec. Bear with me as we, uh, change out um, stamps and all right so we change out some of our stamps and our blocks here that's the beauty of stepping up is that you can use the your acrylic blocks super versatile be able to add uh, you know different images to it and um, your stamp sets itself are quite compact, right? They're the size of a CD case. So it's not um, going to take too much from you. Space that is from you. All right, we're gonna stamp this. This is old olive, if you can see. Old olive ink. I'm gonna just stamp one um, of these vine things. I'll just, a uh, vine, it's um, a leafy plant, okay? because we will need that. And we'll need that leafy plant again later. Okay, I'm just gonna close that up, click, click. And what else will we need? We'll need this, I think. Yeah, we will. Okay, great. So for this purple one, we're gonna do a vine. And uh, for that one, you know what? Here, I'll show you something. So if you're using your mini cut and emboss, it only has a certain size platform. So I like to just cut 
the paper so that it will fit into that platform as we as we need it to go. Okie dokie. So I'm bringing out the machine again. I'm gonna put Tiger to the side. Alrighty, I'm gonna lay down the plates again. There's a, sorry, one. One, we'll do two. I'm gonna lay down this guy. This is a Highland Heather, this purple. Okay, and yeah, we'll put a little bit of tape. You don't need to, um, it's just my um, plates. They do get warped a little bit over time. That's okay. I really need to just flip over and start using the other side. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I will eventually. And we will quickly cut this again, staggering the plates upon entry into the uh, middle of the machine or into the cutting surface of the machine. Give it a bit of a push. Now it doesn't want to cooperate with me. So I say, give it a push. So give it a push. There we go. And crank. There's that. Okay, the vine's been cut. I'm just gonna put that to the side as I now go through and cut um, the leafy fronds, I guess. We'll call them that. Alrighty. And again, just stick your tape to the outside, or just on your uh, metal die, but then outside of your plant so that um, your image doesn't get to, um, your image doesn't get ruined, right? Oops. And you can put your frond or your die cut in the middle of your sandwich. Make sure your two plates, three plates in this case, but two plates are being um, covering it. Boom, 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 boom. And there we are. Okay, I'll put that to the side too, our little die cut. Okie dokie, so we've got that, we've got that. And I also pre-cut some of the um, images or uh, dies, dies ahead of time for us so that you know we wouldn't spend the whole time watching me do die cutting. Okay, and we actually got to the card making. But the die part is fun. Okay, next thing's next. We're gonna stamp some of these uh, viney things, viney things, I don't know what they're called, uh, what this particular plant is. It's this one, and this is a stamp set, or the stamp rather. Um, let's see here, so we've got Highland Heather, we've got um, Old Olive. So let's do some Old Olive, and let's create the scene for our tiger. You can see the tiger, here in the original card looks like this right okay and so now we're gonna recreate some of that i'm gonna do some of my favorite things which is uh, one of my favorite things which is one-off stamping and i'll show it to you guys again here um it's a technique i love here we are so you just stamp and then just stamp again close by or wherever you'd like. Um, you can just do that, I'm gonna do this. And you notice, oh no, you missed a spot, it's okay. It is okie dokie. All right, then the next thing I'm gonna do is, hold on, I'm just gonna do one more here and another one right there. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer that with another color. Um, and in this case, this is gonna be Highland Heather. So I'm gonna clean this off. And again, I think I've shown you this. I might just clean it using um, a chamois. There's a chamois available in our Stampin' Up catalog, our annual catalog. And the nice thing about it is that it's lint free so you don't get the fibers that kind of hang out. Um, but it keeps your stamps really clean and well conditioned. So I'm gonna do that. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna clean off even the little face here. And then after a stamp, a good stamping session, I just rinse off 
the um, the cloth. Good as new. So it's a nice damp cloth. Okay, the next one I'm going to use is Highland Heather for the rest of this vine thing. All right. So for this one, will I one off stamp? Nah, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I did a little bit there. Okay. And there we are. Okay, nice and kind of, you know, viney. I'm gonna stick one right here. There we are. So it gives it a little bit of a different color and different contrast. We hear that click. Okay, and then at the bottom, I'm gonna create another viney scene or frondy scene with our fronds. Um, just laying it down like that. We'll bring out old olive again. just go kind of all over here hope you can see that there you go nice juicy pad and then just one right in the middle you won't see too much of this but it's when the card is done but it's still nice to kind of give it that um, that seam for tiger Okay, okay. So there we are. Let me find Tiger. Tiger. Here we are, Tiger. So Tiger's just going to be like that, sitting in the jungle. I don't know if this is female Tiger or male Tiger. You can decide and let me know. Um, here we are. So I'm going to put some dimensionals here for Tiger. Pop him up that way. Okay. And then it will just, oops, just hang out right here. Looky there, isn't that nice? Um, I'm using this, this is Flirty Flamingo. And I've got Flirty Flamingo just like that. Okay, using some other uh, method of glue. I just discovered this, Stampin' Seal. Um, yeah, it's like a sealed tape. I, I still love my um, mini glue or mini um, adhesive um, liquid glue. And so I'm learning to use this and I'm clearly not good at it. So bear with me. I'm going to figure it out. Oh, there we go. Okay. I've only used this a couple of times. <laughs> Failing on live. That's okay. Got to fail everywhere, somewhere. Okay. And it comes with this little, little cap that uh, helps prevent, uh, prevent the, um, the stickiness from uh, sticking to other things. All right, I'm gonna stick it like there. And here we go, see what goes. So let me get my rich Razzleberry card out. And card stock out, that is. And we're gonna stick it here. Thing with Stamp and Seal, when it's stuck, it's duck so if you want you know if you wanted to move it around well it ain't happening okay okay so I'm gonna stick this car on um, this animal here um, I'm gonna go back to stamp and seal open that up and need stamp and seal a lot I think okay part of it was because I had it upside down so that's why I didn't glue okay be generous with your glue, especially if your, your adhesive, especially if you're using seal. Because um, you want your stuff to stick. Okie dokie. I'm going to lay this guy here. Just like that. All right. And then the next thing is we're going to start, you know, layering the other parts of our card down. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh -huh. Like if you're really quick, you can see, I'm like, I can see that it's a little off center. Um, 
before like you know and again I don't use a ruler or whatnot um, simply because I like to work fast um, time is of essence sometimes for me but I'll just see here okie dokie and I cut out some other um, you can hear the little bag crinkling. I cut out some other leaves, fronds, uh, for this as well. Prior to our live, to this live. Here you go. So we've got a couple of those. Um, the other thing I got going down is the, um, I did this in Flirty Flamingo. These uh, ferns, I guess, is what they are. So I've got a couple of those ferns. I'm gonna just get them out of this bag that I have. And some other leafy type things. So I have a fern and I've got this, those two thingies, thingies for this card. Um, yeah, so let's start, let's begin with creating our scene. We've got this and this. Check that out. Highland Heather, Vines. We've got um, this fun leafy thing like that. So I like to just play around, put your little you know, cutouts and your bits in all kinds of places and see how that will work for you. That's a good one there. Um, yeah, and just really play. This is the best part of the die cutting thing is you know you can especially with this set there's so many elements to play with looky here looky here like that and like that um, you know I might put this one here put a couple of things maybe put one mm, let's just see one can go there and maybe another one here Yeah. Let's see. I think I have another um, doodad. Doodads, as we call them. Uh, yeah, so we could stick a couple like that. Like, where do we like our things, right? Yeah, I like that there and I like this I don't know what they're I need to brush up on botany also so I don't know okay stuff like that okay good I'm thinking I like this so I'm just gonna kind of remember what that looks like and we will okay go forth okay so this I cannot use with seal I'm sorry for seal uh, stamp and seal fans um, I'm going to use my liquid glue and that is what I'm going to do. So uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my frond there and put that guy up there. Put some more glue on this frond. Here. Perfect. And I will lay it like this. Just like this. Yep. Okay. Then the next things before I lay down this uh, big piece, other frondy piece, I'm going to start putting the other elements in, like our um, this uh, vine. Again, just a little bit of liquid glue. Super helpful. There. In that way, um, just let me check my sound. It's, I'm getting a little uh, thing. Okay. Like that. I'm going to put this guy up here for a sec, just so he's out of the way. Um, also, I'm going to do this. A little bit of glue. This is awkward. There. I'm awkward, meaning my hand is in a very awkward spot. Okay. Like that. 
And then I will, um, maybe I'll add this. Let me just see. Let me take a look-see. Take a look-see like this and like this. Yes. I think I like that there. And yeah. Maybe, okay, let me just uh, decide. Okay like that and like this all right i get silent i think like lots of people we all get kind of silent when you're concentrating super hard and for me that's this i'm concentrating hard okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put my um frond up like that like so yeah you know I'm gonna move uh, there's the thing of liquid glue you can kind of move your your pieces really quick as long as they haven't been on for forever and a day um, so I'm gonna do it like that I think that is so much better okay I'm going to pop up this frond just like that yeah like that okay and we're gonna do that with some stamping dimensionals here you can see I'm a dimensionals fan I'm gonna put it right here on the back <coughs> excuse me of the front I'm gonna use that I'm gonna cover up a bit of the tail and there okay and then we've got this um, guy initially I put him over here but I'm going to put it over here now. Mm, or maybe not. Maybe not. Because we still need a sentiment. Right, friends? Okay. No, I'm going to put it over here. And I love this kind of this pink shade. It's called Flirty Flamingo. It does look like a flamingo color. You can see it's like it's stuck on, but it's still like trying to peek out on top. And be a part of this frond. That's okay. Looks cute. Okay. Oh, we forgot this. Oh my gosh, the vine. Okay, we need the vine. The vine, the vine, the vine. Okay. Here we are. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in some strategic places. Um, you don't need tons of glue or else it gets, it will smush all over your card. Okay, put it down like that for a sec and put the glue up there. Then we'll add the vine. This, nah, I like it like this. Okay. If you get glue on your fingers, that is just part of the crafting process. Um, I'm going to swing my vine slightly off there from the corner and then just lay it down gently like that looks lovely Oops, there's a little bit of glue wipe that off with my finger looking great there's that scene for you with the tiger and we'll put that over there now we need a sentiment whoops i dropped my piece of paper okay i'm gonna move that out of the way don't need that for a sec and then we're gonna do um this how about well for this one, we're going to do the Have a Wild Birthday. I take off the uh, vine here. Um, let me clean it off quickly. Okay, now take off that. And we put it back in here because, you know, things get lost. And put it on this acrylic block. It says, Have a Wild Birthday. Okay, and with this one, I'm going to stamp it in, um, you know what, let's do early espresso, just like the stripes. Here we go. Dum, dum, dum. 
Okay, and I'm just gonna put it on this strip. This strip I think is about a quarter inch in width and it's, uh, it's just a scrap piece that I had hanging out. Okay, again, hopefully you don't see my hair. There we are, oh, look at that. Cute, cute, cute. I'm just gonna grab my scissors. And we're just gonna cut, just cut off the, lop it off. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, and then I will adhere, I will adhere to our card. I'm gonna put it down here because I want to cover up that uh, bay, um, leaf area. Have a wild birthday. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay. And yes, I shall stamp, oh, I shall pop it up a bit. Um, this, I'm just gonna use a little piece of, of dimensionals. Put it down here. Just so. And then I'm gonna put it over here like this. I'll let it pop up. Isn't that nice? Okay. So one final thing this card needs, it needs, um, I don't know what, let's decorate the inside too. Because it's a dark uh, colored card on the inside, it might be hard to see um, just what one is saying. So I like to sometimes just um, put a piece of white paper inside and uh, embellish it okay um let's see i'm going to embellish with this very lovely tiny 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 leaf here okay and old olive i'm just going to do a stamp a couple of these one here in the corner and we'll do another one corner wise Pat. There we go, to go inside this card. Um, I'll adhere it later. I usually do it with liquid glue, but I'll let it dry a bit. And it will go inside like this, just so. Um, and you can write whatever you wanna write to your, your special friend uh, for their happy birthday. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to embellish using um, rhinestone basic waves jewels these are new actually they just came out I think last month as part of uh, in the uh, waves set you can see on my website but I'm gonna use a couple of these I want to use these greeny looking ones I'm gonna embellish just so and have you know some prettiness okay I think this one I put it like that. Yeah, like. Oops, went down before I was ready for it. I'm gonna put it down over here. Yeah, over here. Up here. I don't know why I have an accent all of a sudden, but I do. Just grabbing some randos here. Right there. There's one. Um. Let's see, I like this uh, aquamarine one too. I'm gonna take that one. Not falling down yet. And I'm gonna take mm, this one. Oh, you know what, no, I don't wanna take that one. I'll take this one here. And I'll put that one there. Okay. And I'm using my, my favorite tool, my uh, pick it up tool love it so if that you know I think that is something everyone needs it really helps with the rhinestone the you know, rhinestone uh, picking up of stuff okay now I'm gonna glue this baby in using you can use your stamp and seal I still gravitate toward the um, liquid glue because it allows me to gives me time to be able to move elements around and that's what I love about it. It is sticky like glue is supposed to be. So there you go. So there's this card. Oh my goodness, isn't this cute? 
Oh, I love it. And this too, maybe not Q, but Roar. Rory, Roar. So today, yeah, we had this, the, uh, the in uh, the Wildcats bundle uh, stamp set with coordinating dies. Um, I also showed you this amazing new tool. Let me just bring it up. It's not new, it's new to me tool. It's been in the catalog for a while. It is 20% off as we speak. It's uh, the stamp and cut and emboss machine and it is super duper tiny and perfect. Perfect if you have a small craft room like me. This is why I got it. And um, or if you like to craft uh, on vacation or on the go, um, I also like to do that. So this is something that um, suits my needs perfectly. Sorry, click as um, you know, I go about my crafting now as the world's opening up. You can craft on the go. You can go to your crops um, and all your other favorite events and your Stampin' Up! events with this thing. Oh, so there's these uh, jewels that are brand new. Um, I do have a little bit of an ordering special today. So let me just get to you. I'll just put all this stuff out so you can see and just enjoy. Okay. So I'm just gonna come back to you. Where's my face? Where is my face? Oh, okay. Hi, okay, hi everyone. So um, I really hope you enjoyed uh, this demonstration with the Wildcats bundle. Super fun, it's really, um, I, I love it so much. It's quite a versatile um, bundle to me. I, I've used it for many things. You can see it here. You can also see the mess on the side of my table. Um, and uh, we used you know, the rhinestones. We used a stamp and cut and emboss machine today. Oh, I'm moving the wrong face. And, um, uh, you know, and, and a lot of different fun things for today's um, demonstration. So today I do have a special, I'm just gonna pop it up, give me a moment. Here we go. So right now, as I mentioned, the stamp and cut, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and select bundles, including the Wildcats bundle, are 20% off through the, throughout the month of March while supplies last. Uh, there are other bundles that are available for you to uh, purchase if Wildcats or cats are not your thing or you've got this one already. Um, there are pansies, um, other ones, and um, the peach. Ones, I would uh, suggest that you go to my website, sheilaho.stampinup.net, um, to check out which ones there are. there are. There are many, many, many bundles for you to look at and to decide upon. And they are all compatible with the cut and emboss machine. Now, if you purchase $65 or more with me, you will get those rhinestone wa waves basic jewels, which I used in today's card. Um, let me just show that to you again. Again. Hi! So you can see them right there in that uh, inset picture. That is the rhinestones. They are very sparkly and I love them very much. And they're really great. I'll bring you back to the promo again. It's sheilaho.stampinup.net. Um, if you use it with today's host code, let me bring that up first. Today's host code, with a $65 purchase, I will give you the rhinestone waves, uh, rhinestones as a gift from me for, uh, to thank you for ordering with me. And, um, or any business, and if you order the uh, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine right now, with the discount, it comes to about $65.20. So I would highly recommend it if that's something you're looking for. And uh, just use this host code and you know, get on it. All right, okay friends, um, here I am again. All right, uh, so thank you very much for watching the live stream, whether you've watched live with me today or on the replay. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can keep creating this content. Um, it's really fun for me to do this. I like, uh, I love making cards and I love crafting and I love sharing it with you. Um, also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, also YouTube at Sheila Ho Design. All right. So next week, uh, see, watch me again. Um, I've got uh, other, a new thing to show you. It's a new kit. Um, with uh, maybe I'll even get one of my kids to come and play with us because uh, this is supposed to be one of these kid-friendly kits. All right. So take care, everybody. 
I hope that you have a great uh, rest of the week. Um, be sure to watch, follow me on my blog and my socials, as I've mentioned. And uh, we will... Uh, we will be... Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys again soon. All right? Okay. Take care now. Bye.